Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about how you can use different water consistency in wash to create different look in your painting. And without further ado, let's get into it. First, I want to talk about three types of paint consistency that I primarily use in my painting and how you can mix them. For the thickest paint, I usually start out by just dropping one to two drops of water on my palette. And then I'm going to use a relatively dry brush and just mix the paint straight into the little water puddle that I created. And as I'm putting this on paper, you can see that it has like a creamy texture to it. It's very thick, opaque, and you can really see the paper texture underneath it. Now for the second wash, I'm adding more water to the mix. You want to add enough water so that the paint can flow freely, but not too much to the point where there is more water than paint in your mixture. Now when I put this down on the paper, you can see that it flow a lot more freely than the first squash that we have up there. It's lighter than the first squash and you can also see some of the paper texture on the surface of the paint. Now for the third wash, I'm adding a lot more water to dilute this paint completely. My mixture has more water than paint itself and with this, I'm trying to mimic the watercolor effect. And here our third wash on the paper is a lot lighter than the first two. It's a lot more transparent because of the amount of water we have in it. And it looks pretty much just like watercolor. And for reference purposes, the paint consistency on the top wash is going to be called creamy. The second one is milky and the last one is watery. Now let's start painting. First, I'm going to use a clean brush to wet the paper spread out all the water evenly and then I'm going to wait a little bit for the paper to absorb those water. The reason why I wet the paper first is to create a smooth gradient for the sky in our scene. I'm starting out by mixing a mid-tone blue that has a milky consistency. And then I will start that blue at the very top of the painting and as I go down to the middle of the sky, I'm just adding more white paint with a hint of purple while trying to keep the consistency the same. And for the bottom part of the sky, I'm mixing a very light milky pink. And I'm trying to blend that in with the gradient we already have at the top. Here I'm trying to use a big soft brush to smooth out the gradient. And we're going to do the same thing for the water. It's just that the gradient will be in the opposite direction where the darkest part is at the bottom and the lightest part is in the middle. And also in general, you want to make the water a little darker than the sky. Because when light comes in, some of it gets absorbed and the other part of the light got reflected out. So the partial light that got reflected should be as bright as the sky itself. Now once our sky is already dried, I'm going back in to add in some clouds still with the milky consistency. And you will see that the paint is going to be a little bit transparent, and that is exactly what we want for our clouds. And just like the sky, I'm making the cloud darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. And I'm not waiting for the dark paint to dry before I'm going in with the light paint, because I want them to mix in a little bit and have soft edges, instead of having two separate layers, one on top of the other. So far we've been using only milky consistency, but now when it comes to the foreground boat, I want it to be darker and opaque. So the paint mixture that we're going to make for the boat color is going to be kind of in between creamy and milky, but more on the creamy side.
And after putting the first layer of color for the boat, I'm going to wait for everything to dry up first. And every layer I put on afterward is going to be thicker and creamier than the previous one. The general rule when you're layering wash is to wait for the previous layer to dry, use more water at the beginning, and use thicker mixture than the previous layer. I made a video specifically on this topic where I explain how to layer a wash with very detailed demonstration, so go check it out if you want to learn more about that. For the reflection of the clown, I'm again going back to the milky consistency because I want it to be kind of transparent. And here is our first painting. For the second one, I'm going for a poster style. So I didn't wet the paper first and I'm going straight in with the creamy consistency. Now unlike the previous painting while I have a lot of layers on top of each other, in this one I'm just going to have each region with a different color and all of them are going to be the creamy consistency. So there's only going to be one or two layers for the whole painting. And with this style, because I don't have to wait for the previous layer to dry first, it's going to be a lot faster. But on the other hand, you will see each of the color region very separate from each other instead of blending in like the first one. I painted this one in like half the time compared to the first one, just because we don't need to do all that layering. And here's our second painting. For our last painting, in the background, I want to make the wash look almost like watercolor. So I'm going to wet the paper first, and I'm going to use very watery consistency, and just kind of let the water flow where it wants to go, yet still keep the value the same as in the top of the sky is darker than the middle, and the bottom of the water is also darker than the middle part. After I finish the background, I want to make sure that it is dry before I put on my next layer. So here I'm just using a hair dryer to speed up the process. Here I'm using pretty much the same technique as I did in the first one to paint the boat. But the difference is that for the first layer of the boat, I don't really have to use the creamy consistency yet. I can actually start with the milky consistency because my previous layer is very watery. So even with the milky consistency, it still doesn't blend in with the background. So as the general rule of thumb, the thinner your previous layer is, the easier it is to add a new layer on top of that without reactivating the bottom layer. As you can see, wash is very versatile. You can make it transparent like watercolor or very opaque like acrylic. It really depends just on how much water you use. For this third painting, I want my boat to stand out a lot more from the background. So I'm making the shadow part a lot darker and the highlight part is brighter compared to the boat in the first painting. And finally, I'm going to use the milky consistency to add some light cloud in the sky. And here are our three paintings. And that's all I have for this time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite style or if you have any other questions. Thank you and I'll see you next time.